In just a few days time, the wait will finally be over. After nearly a year delay, X Defiant will finally be available to play in full and going to be going into its detailed menu of post-launch support. Today, I wanted to take some time to run down a few things you need to know before launch. As we go along, drop your thoughts, make sure you drop a like, and subscribe for more X Defiant coverage as we gear up for launch and beyond, along with a ton of other FPS content I'd love to have in the community. But for now, let's get into it. So first, let's talk about that preload availability because you'll want to jump in as soon as the game actually launches, as we'll mention in a second. But preload availability, if you played any of the prior betas, if you have that application you used during that time, that should convert into the full X Defiant game build, or at least that's what's mentioned out of prior blog posts from Ubisoft. However, if that's not the case, if you don't have that still installed, that's totally fine. You should be able to look it up on either the PlayStation or Xbox storefronts, or if you're on Ubisoft Connect, you'll be able to download it straight from there as well. And again, you want to make sure you do this as soon as you possibly can so you have enough time to download it if you don't have the best bandwidth or network connection because the game will launch at 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. in the UK. On screen, there should be a helpful handy guide of other time zone conversions for you if those main three don't really do it for you or you need to be closer to your own time zone. Hopefully one of these other ones on screen can help out. But with that game time in mind, with preload availability again in mind, you should be able to jump right in and not have to wait for any major downloads or anything to finish up. Now, as for platform availability, what you'll be able to play it on, it is current generation only. Now, that's good and bad depending on who you ask, perhaps. So that means Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and PC via Ubisoft Connect. Now, it was always going to initially launch for current generation only, but it was recently further confirmed that in the future, that will be the case as well. There was once that mention of an Xbox One and PlayStation 4 development coming later post-launch, but that seemingly has since been cancelled. When asked about PlayStation 4 is confirmed by the X Defiant Twitter account, thanks for the question. We wanted to keep a consistent standard of quality for the game, so we made the decision to focus on current gen consoles only. Appreciate the understanding. So unfortunately, for those still on last gen, you won't be able to play X Defiant in the future, but at the same time, I'm actually kind of surprised that they considered it for as long as they did, and this appears to be the norm going forward in game dev as a whole. The consoles of PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, at this point, they're starting to stall out development and utilizing further hardware optimization for the current generation and newer consoles. So it's unfortunate, but also kind of expected. On day one, when you log in, you actually should have all those backlogged earned rewards available on your account immediately. So your things like your beta participation awards from last year, test session participation, participation rewards, XP tokens, part of the last test session and other areas that will be usable day one, all that kind of stuff. Plus things like your Twitch drops again from back in the beta last year, but also I'd imagine there's additional Twitch drops here coming with a launch of the game and beyond. So all that kind of stuff will be available to use on day one, certain skins, certain XP bonuses and stuff like that will all be there for you. If your accounts are properly linked your Ubisoft account and whatever that promotion was on, whether it be Twitch, YouTube, you name it. Now, as for the full game offering, we of course have all those weapons we saw within the beta and the test sessions. We have those maps of Arena, Attica Heights, Dumbo, Echelon, Emporium, Liberty, Mayday, Meltdown, Midway, Noodleplex, Poblito, Showtime, Times Square, and Zoo. The modes of Domination, Hot Shot, Occupy, Escort, and Zone Control, with of course those factions of Echelon, Phantoms, Cleaners, Libertad, and DeadSec. Now, we're also going to see what we haven't seen in a while because we've only seen like those small little bits of sporadic gameplay a couple of weeks ago and then also last year in September and then the beta earlier in the year. But we're going to see the unlock system in place again. Unlike those prior test sessions that were just only available for a couple of days, it's not as important to allow everybody to try out every single weapon because the game's going to be available and available to play for good. So we're going to see those unlock systems where you have to rank up and unlock things as you go, rank up your weapons, unlock more attachments as you go. That kind of stuff is now going to be for keeps. So you're going to have genuine unlock systems in place at this point. You're going to have leveling and progression. It seems like we don't have any sort of information on a prestige or like any like end cap at this point, but just a basic numerical leveling system from what we've seen in prior test sessions. Again, if there's a cap or not ahead of season one in that 
six week preseason we don't quite know at the moment but we will be seeing a leveling progression for both weaponry as well as your overall air quote operator i guess you could call it but no other information other than that has been given thus far game settings to consider graphical fov aim assist settings and all that kind of stuff are entirely subjective that you want to check those out when you jump into the game but one thing that can be beneficial to all players is that cross play option and the recently enabled input based matchmaking settings so not only can you want if you don't want to play against pc players and you're on console you can turn that off you can end up playing only console to console but you can also end up doing that with your input of choice so for me i play on pc with a controller for this in particular i'll go back and forth sometimes between mouse and keyboard for a lot of games but x defiant i was playing a lot on controller on pc so if i really want to i can take the matchmaking pool and only limit it to other controller players whether they are on pc or xbox or playstation that's really something that's dependent on if i want to turn on or off cross play but i'll only play those controller players so if you're like that that's something you can enable as well it was visible in prior test sessions but only in the recent server test session was it actually available to use so that's nice to see now going into the full game itself but anyways beyond that you'll see other things like of course your test areas your ranked playlist or ranked preview playlists and a bunch of other stuff that you can earn along the way but as for the future that preseason that we have as of the launch is going to last six weeks. So you'll have six weeks to start ranking up your stuff before we end up seeing additional content drops in the way of new maps, a new faction, and other stuff to come along with that. In that span, I'm imagining, of course, there are going to be leaks, in which case we'll cover and touch on the stuff that you should know ahead of time, but just know that you have six weeks of a window of time to just really kind of grind out the base game before anything else is added on top of that. Season one looks to start, assuming nothing changes in that six week span on July 2nd. So with that, that'll start the first of four seasons coming over the entire first year of X Defiance main year of support year two and beyond has yet to really been detailed there's no clues or anything out there for it but with that with a season one you can expect three new weapons three new maps and a 90 tier battle pass lasting about again three months here at this point additional content through this season and beyond are more arena and progression modes ranked and private matches practice zones and welcome lists for beginners and again the season lasting about 90 ish days with four seasons in year one already being detailed so you're gonna see some stuff here on a regular and honestly fairly normal cadence of when things are dropped throughout the upcoming year so that's some stuff to look forward to beyond the launch of x defiant as well but that is the stuff that i think is very important to know ahead of the x defiant launch here and what you should look forward to going in the next couple of days here we're going to end up having some tips for launch beginners guides rank up guides all kinds of stuff here coming in the very near future with the x defiant launch just in a couple of days now at this point and then of course with everything beyond we'll have a bunch of stuff post launch for you different guides different tutorials updates all that kind of stuff so if you guys want to stay up to date with all that make sure to the subscribe button but that is where we're going to wrap this video up just wanted to fill you guys in with some basic information going into launch week upcoming but for now that is what we're going to call it so let me know your thoughts down below drop a like if you guys enjoyed and again make sure you subscribe for more x defiant coverage here as we gear up for launch in just a couple of days and all that's to come beyond it so finally after a year plus of waiting on this we're finally gonna be jumping into it i'm excited hopefully you guys are as well but for now thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you later take care and peace